What about this one? Okay, the degree on the top and the degree on the bottom equal each other. Ooh, they approach one half. Good job. Some of you guys were listening last week. Now, because the degree on the numerator and the degree on the denominator are the same, we just divide the leading coefficients. And that'll be our horizontal asymptote. So left side and the right side approach one half. Look at the graph. See, one half is right here. Left side is approaching one half and the right side is approaching one half. Now this guy. Is this considered range? Oh, uh, uh, no, no, it's not considered range, but we can talk about range later. Right now, this is considered end behavior. We're looking at the left side and the right side of the graph to consider what the end behavior is doing. So here's one right here. Now this is when things get complicated because the degree on the numerator is greater than the degree on the denominator. You guys see that? So we gotta get fancy with this one. Okay, I'm gonna get fancy, but I'm gonna do it so that we, we don't run out of time. You guys ready? So I'm gonna multiply the top and the bottom by something so that I can imagine what's happening to this graph. Uh, tell your neighbor if you know what I'm gonna multiply it by. The, the highest degree in the denominator is x to the third. So I'm gonna multiply it by one over x to the third and one over x to the third. Watch what happens. I get negative two over, or two times x, right? Negative two over, two times x. You guys with me? Uh -huh. And uh, on the bottom I get four, and I get one over x to the third. Is everybody still cool? Right. Yeah. Everybody's good? Okay, now you'll notice that you really only care about these terms right here. Because those are the leading terms. You only care about the leading terms. You don't really care about this guy. But we're gonna continue on. You guys know what this graph looks like? Right? So the left side is approaching what? Positive, Positive infinity for the y-axis. And the right side is approaching what for the y-axis? Okay. And you guys know what 4 looks like. It's right here. Approaching 4 on both sides. And then uh, the last one, 1 over x to the third. You guys know what this guy looks like? Because the, the degree is odd, it goes like this, just like 1 over x. Okay? Nope. That's it. Because the degree is odd on the denominator, it looks like oh. 1 over x. Okay. okay. What is the left side approaching? Uh, zero. Zero. And what's the right side approaching? Zero. zero. Okay. So here we go. Uh, for the right side, or left side. Let's talk about the left side first. What is f of x approaching? We're going to look at this guy. What is it approaching? Infinity. Inf uh, infinity. Positive infinity, right? Yeah. What is this guy approaching? What is this guy approaching on the left? Zero. Zero. So what are we ultimately approaching? Infinity. Positive infinity. Okay, now look at the right side, and then we're done. Oh, wait, so infinity divided by four is... Yeah, infinity divided by four is infinity. Because it's just a ginormous number. Okay, for the right side, what is this guy approaching? The right side, guys. Look at the right side. Negative infinity. Negative infinity. Okay, and then the bottom... What is this guy approaching? Four. Right side, right side. Yeah, it's approaching four. Six. And then what is this guy approaching? Zero. zero. Now you see why we like him? We like this guy because he's like almost always approaching zero. Actually, he will. He will always approach zero when we have an x on the denominator. So this ultimately approaches zero. negative zero. infinity. Is, um, yep, now here, check out the graph. Check out the graph. That's a, that's a surprise. She'll never get it. Positive infinity. Negative infinity. I hate the slime. Get it away.